Varroa mites threaten honeybee health all across North America. Every honeybee colony either has varroa mites today or will have them within just a few months. Varroa mite populations can increase rapidly. When colonies are not treated or are treated ineffectively, they weaken and may be more susceptible to other negative factors such as pesticide damage, virus infections, or other maladies. Many of these colonies will die. Failure to control mites endangers not only your colonies, but colonies in other apiaries and feral honeybees in your area. Widespread colony deaths can cause major economic losses for beekeepers and harm essential agricultural pollination services. This is the first in a series of short videos from the Honeybee Health Coalition on how to manage varroa mites successfully. Whether you have a few colonies or you manage large apiaries, these videos will show you practical steps you can use to better control varroa mites. The Honey Bee Health Coalition brings together diverse stakeholders to implement solutions that support healthy honeybee populations, native and managed pollinators, productive agriculture, and thriving ecosystems. This video series complements the coalition's Tools for Varroa Management Guide, which offers more detail on varroa sampling and controls. Unfortunately, there is no single magic bullet to control varroa mites and doing nothing is not an option. The most effective strategy is Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, a proactive, common-sense approach that seeks to control varroa mites before they reach population levels that harm the colony. IPM is integrated because the beekeeper blends a variety of control methods that work together to keep varroa populations in check. IPM requires understanding the pest, Life cycles of the honeybee colony and varroa mites are interconnected as populations rise and fall throughout the year. Beekeepers need to rigorously monitor the number of mites in their colonies so they can spot mite problems quickly and assess the effectiveness of treatments. IPM focuses on management of mites because permanent eradication is not possible. Beekeepers use cultural practices to slow mite population growth and, when needed, apply chemical controls that are appropriate to the colony's developmental phase. They also rotate different controls to minimize mite resistance to chemicals. The other videos in this series cover a wide range of topics. You'll see step-by-step -step demonstrations of two accurate, easy-to-use methods for sampling for varroa mite levels in your colonies. Sampling should be done at least four times a year, both before and after applying controls. You'll learn when and how to apply several chemical treatments. Essential oils, Apigard and Apolife Var, Apivar, Apistan and Checkmite Plus, Acids, Mitoway Quick Strips, a formic acid, Hopguard 2, and Oxalic Acid. Videos demonstrate the approved legal methods for applying each control and show the personal protective equipment needed. You'll also learn how colony management practices, including sanitation, screen bottom boards, brood removal, and requeening can help keep mite populations down. Honeybees are not capable of surviving varroa infestations on their own. Beekeepers must take steps to manage varroa mites so their colonies can survive and thrive. The videos in this series can give every beekeeper a solid understanding of effective methods to control varroa mites. Thanks for watching this video from the Honey Bee Health Coalition. Visit honeybeehealthcoalition.org and download the Tools for Varroa Management Guide, which has more detailed information on all the topics in this video series. All videos are provided free of charge, and we encourage you to share them.